What's up? Welcome to the Sunday live show. Or Saturday. You know, we've been... You know, it's going to be posted on YouTube on Sunday, for sure. So, you know, I guess the Sunday live stream on YouTube. But TikTok, you know, I just kind of went live right now. Um, but, yeah, we're going to find some great plays. Um, is the market going to continue to go higher? I think is, a, is the question a lot of people are still asking. Is the market going to continue to go higher? We will be talking about that. Has the market topped out? Are we going to be having a pullback? Yada, 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 yada. We'll all be going over. And then we'll look at some individual plays as well. What's up, Mr. Wong? We'll be looking at all of it. All right. So no need to worry. No need to worry. All right. First, let's make sure we get at least, can you look at Riot? Of course we'll look at Riot. Let's make sure you guys subscribe, like. Let's at least get to 1,000 likes before we get started. 1,000 <laughs> likes. Just keep double tapping the screen. Maybe 2,000. You know, we uh, let's do, let's do 2,000, man. Because the information on here is just too accurate for me not, you know, for me not to ask for some likes. Like, come on now. But yeah, we'll look at Riot. We'll look at all the crypto mining stocks. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to figure out why they're lagging, et cetera, or, you know, why are they still going down? Um, and we'll talk about that. But uh, first, first, you guys know we like to look at the Qs and then the dollar, and then we'll look at the fear and greed and et cetera. Okay, so for the Qs, we really just have been consolidating. Like a lot of people think we've been going up, we've been going down, we've been bullish, we've been bearish. But really, if you just look at how this has actually been forming, this this is literally just consolidation at its finest. We haven't we haven't done anything. And that's why it's kind of hard to you know, maybe maybe sometimes hard to find some setups, etc. because literally this is what we've been doing for the past like look at this. We're, we we haven't been going in a straight line up and then you get these little dips and then another straight line, a little dip and then another straight line. No, we've just been sitting here consolidating, okay? So that's something you got to be very careful of. Usually a, a lot of money gets taken from people in these times during this consolidation if you don't know how to play it right, if you aren't in the right positions, etc. And this is what's been happening for 35 days, okay? So we've been sitting in this consolidation period for 35 days where it goes from 433 back to 449, etc. Okay, so when is that consolidation going to end? Who knows? Who knows? We do have CPI coming up, um, I think, on Tuesday. So that should give us that should give us some more information. Now, obviously, the inflation is just, is going to continue to to start going down. Okay, obviously, the market is going to continue to move higher. Those are two things that I think is 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 look, man. We've been saying this for a while. We've, we've been saying the market is going to continue to go higher for quite some time now. We've been completely right for a year and a half since December 2022. And I still believe the market is going to continue to go higher into the summer. Um, now, of course, there's going to be pullbacks along the way. And are we going to get that pullback right now? Well, if you look at the, the daily divergence, I mean, you look at the daily divergence and it's kind of like it could. It could. You're making these higher highs, right? You're making these higher, these you know, these these higher high, higher high, higher high a little bit, but this is bear diverging. So that's something that you got to keep in mind while you're trading. You know, we could get a brief pullback, probably like 420. You know, retest the 21 EMA like we've been doing this entire cycle, like you've seen right here. You know, like you've seen over here. You know, we could come down and do something like that, and you know, gear up for the next run and etc. You know, I'm not putting that out of the question at all. That's something you always got to make sure you're paying attention to. Okay. Um, and of course, we're going to look at some other things to make sure that is what's going to happen. But yeah, like we got CPI. I think that's going to be a good thing to pay attention to. And then we have FOMC um, in late April. So those are two things. Um, so yeah, that's what I think is going to happen with the queues. I think we continue to go higher. We could have a little bit of pullback on the way. But, um, you know, my targets, we, get, we come over here and look at the targets that are possible. And, you know, I think, you know, the queues could definitely get to 500. You know, the Qs could definitely get to 500. Let me see something. Oh, dang. Yeah, I mean, this pullback does make sense, too. I'm not going to lie to you. 
you know, I'm, I'm not putting a pullback out of the out of the question at all because when you look at the trend line that you see right here, I mean, this could for sure, you know. But I think we do get the 500 on the cues. Anyways, let's move on. Let's look at the dollar. Um, and man, the dollar has been is <laughs> it, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. The thing is. I just I just know the dollar is going to fall. But dang, why is it taking so long for the dollar to sit here and fall? You're really like when the when the run actually starts to happen, like when you actually start getting a lot like, man, I'm telling you, like it's going to be explosive is when you get this dollar to start falling along with it. And, you know, maybe it's finally maybe it's finally done. Maybe it's topped out at 105. I mean, it, it hasn't gotten above 105 in this whole entire year. It rejected in February, rejected again here in April. So once this starts falling and, you know, I think it's definitely possible we start seeing it falling, you know, maybe over here. This is, I mean, a bear flag and I think the dollar goes a lot lower. But, um, yeah, the, the, that's really going to lead to to a super run that you saw in November, December, that you saw in May and July. Um, and that you, you, you know, we might have to extend this to, you know, maybe maybe April, April. April through you know June or something or, or June through May we'll, we'll have to we'll have to continue to watch this but I do know when the dollar starts falling that that's when you'll get that huge run okay that's when you get that huge run okay so those are the two things I'm paying attention to the cues the dollar um, let's look at the fear and greed index and then we'll move on to individual stocks put in the comments what stocks you guys want to look at and we'll take a peek at them and as you see man this is what you love to see as a bull okay this is what you love to see you love to see the greed coming down okay we're still in greed and oh yeah you gotta love it you gotta love it like the putting calls is coming up look this is an indicator that we've been watching for some time now on this on this channel like i we we literally have said in october we're like oh my gosh like you guys you please buy right here in october because you saw the put and call options all the way at 106 and you saw it over at one 110 in september and this is where we were begging you to buy we begged you to buy again you know back here you can't really see that much information but we we've been looking at this indicator for a whole uh, like this entire run and it's been pretty accurate and now what you're seeing is it spiking back up that means a lot of people are looking for puts now a lot of people are getting into puts and you gotta love it now, if this gets to one i'm telling you right now the run is not over to where if it gets to one you, you now have a very easy opportunity for you to get into some three, four, five month out calls and kind of just relax on them. But if you guys remember back in March 2022, I actually want to take a peek at this. It was at 0.80. OK, so if we come over here and look at March 2000, I mean, March to March the 22nd. I mean, you're kind of getting a, a slight downfall, but nothing like we've been consolidating. Nothing, nothing too crazy. OK, so, yeah. I'd like to see this get a, get at one, okay? I'm not going to lie to you, but will it? Who knows? We usually get it coming back down, and, you know, it's just been consolidating inside of this range for some time now. So that's going to be interesting, but I do like to see this getting getting even lower. Like, you see this at 61. We've been teetering at 77 to 60 and 70. We, we haven't been, in, been into neutral and fear for almost an entire year, okay? And the previous close is actually at 48, which is crazy. And I think that's because we had that huge drop. So... Look, man, I, I, I'm personally going to we're seeing some things to where it's like, oh, man, like they are they going to bear trap some people here? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? I think CPI would tell us a whole lot. I actually think the narrative coming into CPI is that people believe CPI is going to be hot just because of what Powell saying was saying on his last interview that you guys remember. I think it was on when we had this steep drop. Um, it was on Wednesday and then, you know, Thursday, the day after we had that steep drop because Powell was saying you know, wait, rate heights or Powell's buddies, some other Fed, he was saying rate hikes might not happen this year because of inflation or something like that. But that's all, that's all bull job. Okay. Inflation is going to continue to come down. I actually think we get some sort of deflationary period to where inflation is just so low in my personal opinion. But, um, who knows? We still have a lot of room to go up in my opinion. I don't think the bull market's done. Um, with that, with all that being said, let's check out some tickers. Somebody said, bro, how do I start? If you go to the link in the bio, you go to the Discord. We have a WAM public school in there that you can check out. But um, a lot of people ask about Tesla. We're going to take a peek at Tesla. I know you guys saw the robo taxis, And I know if you're in the Discord, you made a lot of money on Tesla because we called out Tesla on Wednesday. And it ran up over $10, $10 $13. We ended up making over 70% on that trade. Congrats if you caught that. 
Um, and now what is Tesla going to do? Okay, you see it gapping up in after hours. They got the robo taxis, etc. Me personally, I think Tesla's bottoming out. Okay, and I know, and I know, like, dang, like, really, you really think Tesla's bottoming out? Like Tesla. A lot of people think Tesla's going to continue to go down at $100, but I'm telling you, being being bearish right here is not that intelligent. Being bearish right here is actually crazy. The reason why is because it's sitting in a huge demand level. To short it, like, it, you missed. Like, what were you doing when it was doing all this, and then when it even came back up here and did this, and now you're being bearish at a, at a bounce level to where at least be bearish if it bounces you know maybe up to like 190 at least try to be bearish there but being bearish right here in my opinion is crazy um i think i think tesla actually heads up from here i think tesla looks very bullish it's it's now starting to release some robo taxis you're seeing more news on tesla and you know maybe elon's starting to worry or something i don't know but he, he's releasing look man if you think tesla is just some ev vehicles you're wrong you're wrong tesla is going to continue to I saw some Tesla robots. Okay, you can literally go research right now on YouTube. Tesla robots. They had this little factory or whatever. They had this little event where Tesla was prototyping some robots, man. Okay, this is more than a robot company. I mean, more than an EV company. Um, and what you're seeing right now is actually a very bullish pattern even happening. You got a double bottom W that could potentially take you all the way back to 200. So being bearish right here, crazy. I really, really like it. Um, if you're in the Discord, you already know what we're in. You know, you, you made some money on it. I think Tesla's do prime for another run, in my opinion. I think this is where you get some bottoming out. And even if you look at the RSI, it's gaining, it's gaining a lot of momentum right here, anyway. So you 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 have it making this bottoming out pattern, but the RSI is gaining some momentum. I've never seen this guy bearish before. <laughs> nah, man, why why would you be bearish? First of all. Why would you be bearish in a in a in the most extreme bullish market that you've ever seen? I've been like why like that's just dumb. Sometimes you sometimes it's good to have a bias, okay? You just gotta make sure you're 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 getting in at good discounts, okay? Like a lot of people think think well if you're I guess if you're like a day trader or whatever, you know, or a scalper, yeah, maybe you don't want bias coming in every single day. But you know, I, I like looking at three, four, five month out contracts and going from there. I've been making a lot of money doing that. Alright. Um, but yeah, I think Tesla looks Tesla looks good here. It, you have so much bullish divergence to where like, come on now, nah, like even if you look at the daily, like this thing's making lower lows, but this thing's making higher lows. Okay, to me, you can't be bearish here in a huge demand. Um, I I really like it if you got like some June. So look. If you want to see the contracts we got into the in the Discord, make sure you click the link in the bio. But I think I think you can look at some you know some May two hundreds or some June two hundreds and do and look man, I think you're gonna do fine. But that's bullish divergence. No way I short right. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, what other stocks are we looking at? MSTR man, that's the stock we've been talking about since it was at two hundred dollars. We've been begging you to buy equity. If you look at our TikTok right now, it was at like four hundred dollars when I told you it's gonna to get to three thousand. Um, it's gonna to get to three thousand. It's gonna to continue to go up. Okay, we're not gonna look at that one. Um, let's look at PLTR because I think that's a good one to look at. Yes, let's look at PLTR. All right. Okay, so now first first glance, you know, I'm, you know, a lot of people might ha might see this head and shoulders that could potentially play out, um, and you know they could be right, they could be right, especially if the market is 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 decently bearish. But me personally, I think this could have potentially bottomed with this sweep of that head and shoulders that you see that happened at $21. And the reason I say that is because what usually happens is you get that you get that little sweep. You get that little sweep of the head and shoulders. It gets a lot more people bearish because they think it's breaking down and then you kick it back up and that's kind of what it did and then you had that bearish day on Thursday. Um, so if I'm looking at PLTR, look, if you're gonna play this the right way, this is how, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you'll play this. now. Of course, the perfect entry, like if it came down to here, you got it at $20.30, obviously, that is where you would want it, just because that's where the FIB is. That, that's great, great demand, because you, you literally got it right here and right here. You know, that's great demand. But right here is a potential dollar cost average opportunity, rather you're, you're in shares or rather you're in, um, you know, some, some, some July calls, okay? And I'm not looking to see what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't care what's going to happen tomorrow. I, we know 
what's going to happen in the next three to four or five months and we know the market is going to continue to go higher so you want to look at some further out contracts just so you can insure you know what i'm saying like just so you can sit back and relax and go to the gym and hang out and actually have a life you don't got to stare at the screen all day just to let you know you don't got to stare at the screen all day to make some money you can make some money while you sleep while you go play golf you just got to make sure you enter the position <laughs> you just got to make sure you click some buttons and then and then do that do that for like five minutes and then you know go out and go do what you got to do but uh plr obviously you want it at twenty dollars and 32 cents but if you're getting some july calls some july 25 dollar calls i think you'll be fine um this bounced from a demand right here like you see where it bounced at it bounced from from the peak right here so it's showing it's showing some strong demand that you see right here now if it does break down from twenty one dollars and seventy four cents twenty dollars and thirty two cents would be the perfect entry and where i would want to call it out since i missed it at twenty one dollars and seventy cents okay so i really like it i think pltr goes a lot higher from here um i mean we could sit here and drop some price targets which you know i like looking at price targets i definitely see this going to thirty dollars um you know potentially we can even see it at 36 and you know maybe even all-time highs and you know if it gets you know 69 dollars you know the price targets could get really stupid once we get above 37 um etc but to me even if you look at it oh my lord i forgot i forgot we got weekly candle closes we got some weekly candle closes so we get to look at the weekly we get to look at weekly time frame candles that have closed and if you look at pltr like come on bro this is this is we've been we've been looking at these candles this entire bull run and usually these candles these morning star doji whatever you want to call it tight candles usually lead to a big old green you know this is red but a big old green candle afterwards so i really like the weekly candle that it formed right here um and the thing you got to know about pltr is that if you look at the 21 ema it holds it it's been holding it this entire run since since may 2023 when it started uh, running like you see right here rejected all that time and then you know it finally got above and now you have it holding above there and it's even kind of retesting it down here so this is where you dollar cost average into it now if you're foolish and you know you were buying it um my bad if you're foolish and you're buying it you know my bad y'all if it, i was lagging a bit but if you're foolish and you're buying it at 27.53 you know at highs that's not when you want to buy stuff. You want to buy it on these dips. And to be honest, PLTR is giving a great dip right here. It's, it's held that 21 EMA. Um, and to be honest, this, I like this Morningstar type candle that's forming. All right. Now, you know, we've seen these type of candles go crazy. Now, me personally, I'm going to wait for, you know, $20.32 $20 like we talked about. But um, right here is really good. I like it. Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. We're not going to look at MSTR. We're not going to look at MSTR. Mainly because we told you guys to buy MSTR back when it was 3000 I mean, back when it was uh, 240. Anyways. TNA, Riot, Reddit. Oh, let's look at Riot. Let's look at Riot, and we'll look at, um, we'll look at a lot of the other semiconductors. But what you have to realize, okay, if we're looking at Riot, you got to know that Riot, Mara, BTBT, MSTR, they all, well, MSTR is like the super giant. MSTR is actually one of the, the, the ones you want to own. You don't even want to, you don't even want to option trade that one because the options are garbage anyways on it. Spreads are garbage. You want to, you want to just own that one. You want to buy and hold that one. Now, I don't know if you want to buy it up here, <laughs> but back when we were talking about $400, $200, that's when you wanted to buy it. But if we look at Emmet or Riot, um, look, man, if you're, if you're not patient on these, you're gonna end up getting cooked. This is a patience play that you have to know, okay? You gotta have conviction with these that this is gonna to continue to march higher, okay? Now, what you're getting right now is a cook session of people that are getting shorter term contracts, you know, the people that are trying to get the April 19th or, you know, the May 17th. To me, you wanna look at June, July for this one, okay? You wanna look at June or July. 
okay because when this gets started you know it chops you out for two months and then when it gets started it takes off and, and, and triples in not even not even a couple weeks so if we're looking at riot this is definitely in a demand level to where it this is the first run this is the first time it ran up back in we caught this back in june july of 2023 we caught it again right here i think you're going to be able to catch it again right here um at this nine ten dollar level look if you're buying some august calls some july august calls right here like some 15 dollar july august calls or if you want to get into the, what we're into inside the discord click the link in the bio this is this is easy money okay now if you're looking to day trade it, if you're looking to get into some next week calls if you're looking to get into this on April 19th, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, okay? But some August, July's 15, and you're patient enough to hold into the summer, okay? Into the summer. I think you can easily make some money on this one, okay? Now, where could I potentially see this going is the, is the question a lot of you guys might ask. I think this can definitely get above $100, okay? Definitely 50 okay? Definitely $50. I, <laughs> you guys are like, yo, what? What the what are you talking about, bro? You don't see it getting to 50? Yes, bro. I see this getting to, to 50, maybe even like a, a crossing $127, okay? So, Riot can get really crazy when it gets crazy. It's Right now, it's just rocking people to sleep. It's making people not comfortable holding it. It's, you, you know, it, the market's going to do what the market does, okay? But if you're patient on this one, and I'm actually in some Riot calls. You know, obviously, I didn't take the, you know, you know we're in, but... You know, this is going to rock you to sleep, and then this is going to do what it does, okay? We've caught this twice already. I think this is going to be the third time we catch it. Um, I really like it. Like, you got to be patient on this one, though. And that's, that's what I see for it. There's, It's just sitting inside of this rectangle. That's what you can call these. A rectangle. Bouncing back and forth. And what the smart people are doing right now, like, I bet you like a hedge funds or whoever's doing this. They're literally waiting for it to get in here, selling it, buying again getting their money, selling it again, buying it again, selling it here, buying it again right here. And then, you know, who, this could potentially run be the final time it actually breaks and goes crazy. But all that money they collected is probably going into this final position that you might see right here. Okay. So during this time that it's chopped inside of this range, they probably made, they probably started with 10,000, made a hundred thousand. And now they're going to put a hundred thousand right here. You understand? I don't know. Maybe I just think like that, but yeah, this is a great, this is a great time to load up. Anyways, let's move on. How high do you think Riot can go in the summer? It's kind of tough to, to say, you know, time frames. But if I were to give a time frame for this, I, you know, I, I can see it above $30 by by July. All right. And we're going to be live. You guys know me, man. I'm live every every Saturday, Sunday. We post these live streams on our YouTube. Um, I mean, you could literally go to our YouTube right now and see the videos that we were posting back in this time last year and see and see how much you actually missed out on. <laughs> Don't do it if you get FOMO, okay? But we we would know this for a while. Um, Tesla one ninety by the end of the week. I, we like Tesla. There is not July or August options for Riot. Then get September. Do you do option trading intraday? I don't do zero day tax expirations, but I know a lot of people like Mex. Mesrick in the Discord, he's really good at catching spy like every single day. He caught like five hundred percent on that on that Wednesday drop. He caught it again on Thursday. Like he's really good with catching spy. Me personally, I'm more of a you know I like buying time on my stuff and just kind of being patient. Um, and that's been profitable profitable for me. But a lot of people, you know, they like catching zero days to expirations. That's just not what I like to do. But you could, you could learn from somebody better than me at that. I, I just don't really day trade. I, I on Friday I got we have uh what is it Lotto zero to hero zero or hero that's what it's called and we and we catch those but and we caught AMD on Friday uh CPI CPI is Tuesday anyways put in the chat what stocks you guys want to look at let's look at Dell oh we ain't looking at Dell first of all if you go look at any other YouTube videos that we talked about we told you to buy Dell right here somebody asked about Dell uh last friday or no two fridays ago or two two saturdays ago two live streams ago someone asked about dell they asked about it again over here i literally kept telling you it's gonna go up it's gonna go up because what happens after these stocks gap up they give you that little pullback and then they go up okay so we're not gonna look at dell we told you the game plan for dell if you didn't execute you didn't execute but i'll tell you a better one that dell, that hasn't done what dell has done um and, it, and it's looking like it's ready which is net okay so I'm just gonna give you some free game. When the stock gaps up for earnings, 
it usually gives a nice little pullback, consolidates, and then it just continues to go, okay? We've seen that happen so many times. So net is one that hasn't gone. If you want to use that strategy, the gap and go strategy, that's net is probably one you'll use it for the contract to kind of steep though. We already looked at Tesla. We looked at Tesla. If you missed any stocks, if you missed any stocks that we've talked about, okay? If you missed any stocks that we talked about, we do post the best ones on our Twitter, okay? So we'll post about we'll post about um, Tesla on our Twitter. And let's just take a brief intermission for you guys to actually follow the Twitter, okay? Let's get to at least 3,105 before we um, before we continue, okay? We've been sitting here giving free game accurate game it's not like it's, it's not like it's garbage <laughs> it's not like we come on here and you know just say random stuff what we talk about usually hits you know i get i get 85 to 80 percent you know chance of hitting all right but um go to the link in the bio the twitter is in there and then just follow the twitter we, get, we need to at least get to 3105 before we continue any course for beginners um if you go to the discord if you go to the discord we literally have one public school. You go to introduction to options and then you can click on this Kahoot thing, okay? Once you click on the Kahoot thing, we literally, I teach you live on here, okay? And, you know, you only need ever need one. There's quizzes, there's new recordings, etc. okay? So that's where you look for that. But let's make sure we follow Twitter. Link is in the bio. Cloud. We're going to look at TNA after this. We're going to look at TNA after this, but first we need some followers. We need four more and then we can start. Four more and then we can look at some TNA. And TNA is one that we've been talking about since it was $20. I begged you guys to get into it, made a whole lot of money on it. Is TNA ready to continue to go crazy? We're gonna see. We looked at Tesla, bro. Economy is right now. It's Coinbase. Yeah, we're not gonna get started till we get till we get four more. That's just how it's gonna go. If not, we're gonna get up out of here. And that will be the end of the show. The end of the show. Starbucks. Chicken licking, yeah, that bar He ain't lying. Though. Appreciate the sub, Jeffrey. I don't even know you can sub on here. It's pretty fire. We gotta have some exclusives, man. We gotta, we gotta have some exclusives. Apple. Yeah, we're not getting started till we got five more. Five more followers, then we get, and then we can look at some more stock. OCGN. A E H R. The kiddo's doing great. S M. Reddit. Apple. I want to look at Apple. Definitely want to look at Apple. Spy and Apple, bro. What's going on with Tesla? Hey, boys. Yo, goat. What's up? Oh, man. We're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. Some unfollowed. <laughs> not unfollowed. Got me cracking up. Meme. Yeah, you guys think I'm playing? I literally, I literally cut off the stream. I don't see the link in the bio. We all already following. Nah, for real. All right, we need four more. Four more. Four more, and then we can uh, we can look at Tesla. T oh no, we already looked at Tesla. Just do repost instead. Oh, that'd be kind of fire. You're so smart, bro. You know what? We're gonna do repost instead, okay? If you just repost, 
If you repost this on this tweet right here, we'll uh dang you smart, bro. Why was I doing yeah? Let's just do three reposts on this one. Three reposts. No. Three reposts on the pinned tweet and then we'll uh we'll we'll just go. So if we get ten ten right here on the pinned tweet, we'll look at um We'll look at some stocks. Ten reposts. We'll get. We'll get. We'll look at some stocks right here. We just need three. We just need three. We just need three. Okay, one more and then we can get started. One more and then we can get started. <laughs> I like the repos way better, anyways. All right. So let's look at TNA. Let's look at TNA. Okay, so what TNA has been doing literally is just chopping to the upside. That's literally all it's been doing since its large pump that you saw right here. So TNA is definitely can definitely move like this. Now, in order for it to move like that, you need IWM to be going crazy. But to me, I you know I can't see IW I can't see TNA not getting to you know 56 and then you know 67 etc now I, I do think this is going to end up getting to to 78 dollars you need IWM to be going crazy I think IWM gets to 300 but what's happening right here is just rejection it's just at a rejection level okay so it's been rejecting this level for quite some time now literally multi-year rejection level that when it does finally break out, the breakout is going to be huge, it's going to be fast. And to take advantage of that, you need to be getting some further out contracts, okay? So I would be looking at some June, July $50 calls for TNA and just be and just hold it, okay? That's literally all I would be doing on something like TNA. And that's when we look at the weekly chart. When we look at a smaller time frame for something like TNA, you're getting it, it's on the it's dang, this actually look good for next week. <laughs> As long as it doesn't break down, obviously, but if you look at what TNA has been doing this entire year, you know, since January 1st, it's just been inside of this channel, currently at the bottom, okay? The top could take you back to, you know, 46, 40, 47, maybe a breakout, who knows? CPI is Tuesday, that's something to keep track of, but, you know, I think TNA looks really, really good right here okay so that's the main thing i'm paying attention to it now obviously if you get a breakdown which could potentially happen um like like we just saw with the cues the cues is bear diverging very heavily let's look at iwm and i just told you guys actually the narrative the narrative coming into cpi this this tuesday is that a lot of people are actually are actually decently bearish believe it or not i mean we just saw the greed at 61 you saw the put and call options blasting off like we can look at it again really quick but the greed is at 61 the put and calls a lot of people are getting into puts especially on friday thursday so you got a huge spike um so see, heading into cpi it's actually bearish a lot of people are bearish a lot of people think cpi is going to continue to come in hot okay so i mean iwm is kind of sitting in the exact same thing just just sitting in a channel and currently at the bottom of the channel you're kind of getting some hidden bullish divergence down here which which looks decent as well but you know that those are the only few things that i see for something like tna and actually if you look at the eight hour time frame it made a lower low right here and this made a higher low so you're actually getting some bullish divergence on an eight hour too so you know iwm could be ready to come up and me personally i've seen these type of patterns happen over and over again where you do get this head and shoulders and then a brief little sweep like you see right here and then you make that new high so you it it does something like this now if someone can tell me what what this type of pattern is called you know we'll be in business but i don't know what the pattern is called i just know i see this happen a whole lot like i can pull up a bunch of charts where this exact same pattern has happened like the reason we caught pepsi a lot of you guys caught that pepsi trade with me um was because it did that thing that we talked about oh shoot this thing where it dumped from that head and shoulders made that low and then it blasted off okay so we caught this trade on pepsi we literally got in over here and it you know it went stupid but um yeah 
Stuff like that happens a whole lot. TXN, I think, was another one. Yeah, TXN would happen to be another one where, you know, you get that initial move, you get that move, and then, you know, a dump. You know. It's not going to be textbook every single time, but that's what it looks like. Is CPI really on Wednesday? Let me see. He think about Taco Tuesday is funny. Taco Tuesday is funny. All right. Uh, let me look at it. I could have sworn. CPI is never on Wednesday. It's usually on like a Tuesday. Let me see. CP, what is it? Um, FOMC is usually on Wednesday, but yeah, I was wrong. It's, it's on it's on Wednesday. Dang. Optimism index. Consumer price, core PPI, Fed, housing permit, yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of speakers, but yeah, it's on Wednesday. Wednesday morning. SLV. All right, put in the comments what stocks we're looking at. I'll look at a few more before we get up out of here. Somebody says silver is going to break out and go crazy. Uh, we, we've actually had this silver pattern for quite some time. This thing's been consolidating and chopping for a very long time. Um, <clears throat> but if I'm looking at <clears throat> if I'm looking at silver, first of all, I, I already missed it, so I wouldn't even try to get into it because you missed. You know, now you're getting into it on a huge breakout that it hasn't seen in like two years. You're getting in on a breakout that it hasn't that you haven't been in. You know, like down here, you know, $20 would have been a good price to get into it. So it's not even a good entry. Um, <clears throat> and it's at a rejection level. So if it breaks above 25, you know, 2530, I'd be a little more inclined to get into it because then it could get definitely get to 27, $28. And then once it gets above there, it's gone. But me personally, I don't really like silver, you know, I don't really like silver. This is one that's been lagging for a very, very long time. I think there's better things you can get into, but you know, if it does break above 25, 30, it's gonna get to 27.50, and above 27.50, you, you might get some $30 retest. But I don't really like it. I don't really like it. Is there a massive breakout gonna happen? Eh. If you look at what's happening with gold, it has it lagging behind gold. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't really like it. SoFi, let's look at SoFi. What, what's SoFi been up to? Let's see what SoFi's been up to. All right, so SoFi has been playing around, but I'm gonna tell you why I like it here, and I continue to like SoFi, is because it's still holding. It's still holding. The level now it is retesting the breakdown so you want to see this above you know seven dollars and 90 cents you want to see it above eight dollars okay but to me this looks decently good it's hidden bull diverging like you see on the RSI down here where it's making these higher lows but this is making a lower low so that's interesting um but yeah there's nothing there's nothing here that I'm like oh yeah that's fire I'm just, I'm just be honest with you there's nothing here where I'm like yeah that's fire But, you know, potentially you can get to nine sixty six, and, you know, maybe even $15, but it's ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly, but, you know, a lot of people might say this is a, a nice little bull flag. <laughs> nice little bull flag, but uh, I'm all right. I'll pass. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning into the live stream. I think we are going to get up out of here. Uh, we've been live for 40 minutes. Um, I appreciate you guys all for tuning in. I'll probably try to come live again, you know, maybe maybe midweek or something and get something done. But, um, yeah, make sure you guys are inside the Discord. And uh, I'm out. Peace.